G'day guys, welcome back to another vid. So we are finally out of lockdown and today we're going to be heading off to a little place that's pretty close to us called Aura Beach. Got the ute loaded up, battery's charged, you can see that cable going into the um, charger behind me. Everything's charged up, ready to go and this is going to be our first little test of our new setup in the big rig. So let's get into it guys. Righto, so we just pulled up. Let's jump out and have a quick look. We're sort of right here on the on the entrance. Um, but I'll flip you around and just show you what this place is like. Super basic setup for us tonight. We're only got the swag, no warning, no gazebo, no um, no big shoulders or anything like that. Just me, half over Ute and swag. Alright, so we're here at our, our Beach, or our Beach Reserve. Mad little spot, and the whole purpose of this um, little overnighter that we're doing is just to, to test out our sort of overnighter or weekender setup that we got. So I thought I'll give you a bit of a look around it. All we're running is just a normal, an old King's double swag. We've had that forever. So we figure, why throw it away? Just use it until it shits itself. Like I said, I'm waiting for this 60 litre fridge to die so I can get a uh, upright fridge, but so far, it's still going strong. Um, so for dry food storage and things, I've just been running one of these clear top bags, clear top canvas bags, and it seems to be doing the trick. So it's got, you know, oils, little bits and pieces, you know, two minute noodles, sugar, tea, coffee, cups, bowls, all the utensils that we're going to need. We've got tons of stuff in there, so that seems to be doing really, really good for us. And we'll probably lose everything now. I'm still running our old um, Coleman Gladiator Hyperflame stove. Still doing awesome. Um, awesome stove. If you still want to run gas, I'm happy with it, but I'm in no rush to upgrade anything. Um, what else we got? So our camp chairs. So mine and Kim, me and Kim run these Wanderer, um, these Wanderer cam chairs from BCF, they're pretty good. They've got the, Daddy, the two I'm sections. Cold. You're cold? Alright. Mm -hmm. They've got the two sections in here for the cup holders. Um, other side you've got your, your zip, velcro and cooler section, which is awesome. And they all come in nice, nice sort of bags too. That's what we run. They were pretty cheap at the time, um, but not too cheap that they, you think they're going to fall apart on you. So as you can see, we are... Uh, bare bones basic this trip this is sort of the stuff that we want to be able to set this thing up for um just a swag fridge portable cooker um later on down the truck we'll probably get um an awning and things like that added on there as well but right now we're not really interested in it we just want to have the setup done for those little overnighters and um weekenders where it's just really easy to set up really easy to pack up and you can just get straight back on the road Let's see all we run is 150 watt solar blanket from Ridge Rider at Super Cheap Auto. Again, there's a review coming up on that one. That panel is unreal. It has not let me down once. And I've been running that thing pretty much full time now for oh, close to two years. 
and it's it's good. But for right now, I'm gonna get in here, get myself out, get myself out, a sneaky 150 lashes. Oh, kick back with Harper and enjoy it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Sort of give you a bit of a look from the top at um, the little the beach area, so the, sort of the swimming, the swimming area at Ara. I'll spin you around so you can have a look at it. Probably at about five meters. It's it's not even knee height, so kids can just jump in and kids can just jump in and swim around and. Yeah, it's, it's not even at, at knee height. Harper was running around in there, no drama. So, absolutely cracking spot for, um, especially in the middle of summer, if it's, if it's absolutely sweltering, it's an absolutely cracking spot to just come down and have a, have a bit of a dip. Anyway, we'll head back up the top and we'll probably see you at dinner. What do you reckon? See you everyone at dinner? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right, let's go. This is what I really love about, you know, like just bare bones sort of camping swag tent whatever you got and a portable gas cooker you might have a fridge or even just an esky this is what i love about it it took us all of about five minutes to set everything up it was fair it was just the swag the cooker and pull the fridge out and we're done where we've been watching people come in um, and it's been taking them like two hours to set up a, a camper trailer soft floor campers that just look like an absolute nightmare to set them up. And I've only, I've set up a couple of them and they honestly, they don't seem that hard, but yeah, some people are just making them look really hard. Um, I've been looking down here at, ooh, bug. I've been looking down here at a couple of families and they're just, yeah, they're, they've dead set been setting up for the, about the last two and a half hours. So yeah, I don't know. Not really for me. I, um, if I travel a couple of hours and get to camp, I, I just want to set up and kick back and relax. So, yeah, that's what I'll, anyway, that's just what I love about swag and tent camping. It's just nice, basic, and easy. <laughs> All right, so I thought I'd just show you guys while I'm making dinner, how I've set it up to, um, to cook tea and things. So you can see, um, I've just got the, the stove right here in front of me. Then it's right next to the fridge. So, um, if you've already seen our uh, review on the, the Coleman stove, you know that it comes with a, um, a nice big flat plate on top of it as well. Um, I've just taken it off, but that's it. So it actually just sits on top there and the weight of the cast iron just holds it in place. So just take it straight off. If I'm boiling water now, I'm using a pot cooking half of some noodles. So put that straight up on top of the fridge and it's nice and out of the way. Well, I can put it behind the fridge you can't see it at the moment, but I'm just running one of these clear top canvas bags it's for all of our uh, dry food and salt, pepper, sauces, that sort of stuff. And it seems to work really good. I can fit tons of stuff in there. Um, but I don't know, I might, as this build sort of comes together, I might sort of try to make a uh, permanent pantry sort of setup. But for the, for the time being, that's awesome. Um, I also haven't got it yet, but I am getting a clip-on bench. Um, it's not designed for this fridge slide. It's actually going to be a Dunham Watson, um, but I know they're really good quality gear. It's stainless steel, uh, and that comes with two little brackets too. So if I want to move it from the fridge slide to, say, right here, 
I can do that, uh, or I can buy more clips and put them wherever I want them on the on the tray of the ute. So hopefully that's going to be um, a good little fix too, so I can store things like the, uh, the pantry bag um, and pots and pans and things while I'm not using them. Um, yeah, guys, if you've got any suggestions or anything that could make this a bit better, um, leave them down there in the comments below because I'd be really keen to hear them. Sweet as. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> it's just gone seven o'clock and some of the bird sounds that you hear when you're waking up, you never get over it. It's just, it's awesome. But I'll take these outside and give us a bit of a look around this place in the morning because it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Is there anything better than bacon and eggs on toast when you're camping? I don't reckon. I reckon it's the best breakfast going. So this is where this clip on bench thing is going to come in handy. Look, plates up there with toast on it butter and everything sitting on top of the fridge, you've got bacon and eggs in your hand. Can't use that thing because it's too hot still. So if I can just clip the bench straight onto either the slide or onto the side of the tray there, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. If anyone's got one of those Dunham Watson um, clip-on benches, let me know in the comments how it goes. Um, I couldn't really find too many sort of independent reviews or people that I know that have them. Um, so um, yeah, if you if you've got one, let me know what you think because I'm I'm pretty keen on it. Well, has Brecky done? We gotta enjoy it. quickly while I'm coming over to um, take up of the toilet thought I'd show you guys the um, the facilities here at Arrow Beach and for a free camp they're pretty good I'll, I'll tell you they're not the worst ones that we've seen definitely so I'll flip you around so we've got a decent little basin here 
Inside, we even got a couple of books and a flushing toilet, a few toilet brushes. It's not a bad, um, not a bad setup. It wouldn't be nice enough to hang a broom on the um, on the wall there. It's definitely pretty good for a for a free camp. All right, so the weather's just taken a pretty dismal turn. Probably see a little cloud behind us, so we're going to stay another night, but we're going to pack up. Head into Wagga, see if the weather doesn't clear up. Um, if it doesn't, we're just going to head straight back home and we'll stop at a couple of spots along the way. Well, that's not something I was planning on. What? So, <laughs> we've just um, left Wagga Wagga and we're cruising back towards uh, Tamora and have a go at what's happened as we've come past the semi trailer. Safe to say that scared the absolute shit out of me. But what's really freaked me out is how much glass has ended up in the car. So, as we were passing it, I'm spewing we didn't have a dash cam or something going. But So anyway, as we were coming past it, I saw a retread, I saw a retread actually let go on the truck. Um, which scared the shit out of me because it's happened a couple of times um, Where we've been driving and a retreads come off a truck and slapped across the bonnet or something Anyway, a retreads let go and obviously in that retread there's been a rock or something that's let go out of it and You can see right there There's a fairly good Chunk of glass missing <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how in Australia retreads are still legal. How they how they're even still around. Um, I know I know they're cheap and I know they're easy. They're a lot easier to do than getting a new tire. But for God's sake, like <laughs> just ban them. Stop using them. Retreads are bloody dangerous. So we just pulled up at Lake Centenary, just outside of Tamora. It's a nice little spot. That is the right spot. Yeah. That so, is the right spot. I'll throw some footage up on the screen now, just the, the sign and things, but basically Lake Centenary is a, a man-made, um, man-made lake. You like it up? Yeah. No. Where are you? Here. <laughs> I'm right here. So it's a man-made lake. Um, and it's pretty much designed for... Because it's the park um, just sort of boat and recreation, so skiing, um, skiing, using like your biscuit, kneeboarding, uh, that sort of stuff. And then on the other side, um, so straight, you've got the lake on this side, over here, and then straight opposite, you've got um, an actual powerboat sort of race course. Yeah, come here. Powerboat, um, powerboat race circuit, where I think every year they have like those V8, the V8 like super boats come out and and race around that, which is pretty awesome. Well, that's something we definitely want to come over and check out one year. But Harper's gonna go have a bit of a play at the park. And then straight opposite the park, or just on the other side, this is pretty cool. Fingers around. So straight opposite, behind the park, you've got another little lake. It's all kayak, um, tinny, and swimming area, which is, Awesome for the kids. But I'm just spewing, I can't get the drone up because there's a, an airport about 500 meters that way. But anyway.
That was yours. Here's the bottom it. And here. Bring him out. There we go. Dad, that's a little fish. There we are. Hello. But that one's sharp. You gonna put your one together? But what? you're out ten. Alright. You don't know how to fit things. <laughs> So I'll just give you a quick look. Um, whenever we're out traveling or we're going fishing or anything, I've just grabbed this little primal rod from BCF. Um, the primal junior, what is it? The primal junior angler. The cracking little rod just sits in the trundle tray. No worries at all, right next to mine. So fits in there perfectly. Um, amongst all the other crap that's in here. And then my tackle just goes straight in the back of the canopy, just right in that little corner there. So there's probably enough room in there for another one or two rods. So um, yeah, works out really good. Anyway, I'm gonna flick a few and see if we can't get any of these bad boys. sort of got a little bit of everything. So you've got your main lake here. I'll just flip this around. You've got your main lake here, mainly for sort of water sports. So you get your skiing, your tubing, biscuits, and that sort of thing. And down this end is like just a little dedicated fishing area. Little platform here, fire pit. It's a good little setup um, that the council's put on. So shout out to Mora Council, or whatever council it is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a man-made lake that has a little bit of everything, really. And the best part about the fishing side of it is they stock this lake, I think, once a year or might be once every two years. Um, so they can keep a nice, healthy population of, um, of different species of fish. So I'll, I'll overlay some footage here of um, exactly what species they put in. You can see on the sign that they um, put Murray Cod, Golden Perch, um, Silver Perch, <coughs> freshwater caddies um, and then I don't think they stock these but common carp and redfin has found its way they found their way into um, into the lake as well and you've obviously got your Murray Crays and Yabbies yeah so Lake Centenary check it out it's um it's a really good little spot I wanted to get a little bit more footage over it actually in the lake it, uh, sort of sort of in the area itself but there was um, loads of people there today uh, there must be a dozen boats out there and I think they have a, they've got a couple of birthday parties going so I didn't want to do too much filming and look like a bit of a maker but anyway we're going to sit here and have a bit more of a fish hopefully pull one or two decent little um, this little red fin or something out and we're probably going to head on home ah oh, well no fish <laughs> it's not really no fish, it's alright though, isn't it? We'll get them next time. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, it's not that great for fishing. Um, not the friend of my fishing skills, I'm a shit house fisher. But it's obviously not that great. It's only a small, small sort of area, small sort of lake. And obviously, like, all the boat traffic stirs up the water a bit. So, it's not the best place for fishing, but you know, it's still good to bring the kids down here and have a bit of a crack. Though. Oh guys, that's pretty much it for this trip. Um, like I said, it was only going to be an overnighter. We just wanted to test out how this little setup was going to go for our, for our little quick camping trips or our little weekenders. And I think we've um, we've got a little bit that we can improve on, but we're pretty happy with it overall. So anyway guys, we're going to pack it in and head on home. 
Thank you guys so much for coming along. Uh, we really appreciate everyone that watches our videos. Uh, if you got something out of this or you enjoyed the video, leave a like uh, or a comment. Um, let us know what you think. We're always up for any ideas that you guys have. Thank you guys that do comment and leave us um, some ideas that we can sort of play around with. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there. Never miss a beat when we upload new videos or any of our content goes up live. Anyway guys, until next time, get out and about. We'll see you in the next one.